Good morning and welcome back to a beautiful day in Montford Con. We have the sunshine out with a bit of wind, which is not too bad. Um, today I'm going to be showing you what Francis is going to be getting up to. Um, he's got a few more jobs that he's got to do outside the house. And the first one is, well, he's been working on this the past couple of weeks when he's had a dry day. But he's got to get this finished off and that is cutting the rest of the trees down he started last summer. These are the trees that he started cutting down last summer. If you go back to our um, summer videos, I'll find it and I'll put the number in the video. But he started cutting these trees down last summer. They were double the size of what you see here. Um, and he's had to cut them all the way along. And he's just got... There's a few uneven ones there, but he's going to go back and to do them later. But you can see the ladder going up there in the background. He's just got those few to cut down. And we've had to make a few, a few chips down the dishery. So that's what he's doing now. We've got a trailer full of trees there that we've got to take the dishery tomorrow when it opens. Just go round. Just show you where he is. Just explain there, you're cutting the last of those trees down. I've got, I'll do all trimming them all. I've still got to cut that one down now. Yeah. And I've got them and what we'll do is just trim them all to the same height. Okay. Yeah. And that's a couple of trips to the Duchessery. And he's just got those couple of trees and then he's going to even all the stumps off. Those trees there, they're the ones we planted about five years ago. And that's the height we want to aim to get them at. They don't look as good as those ones because these big ones have been up for about 30 years, I think. So we're trying to aim to get them that height. Be off, off. No, but <coughs> we've been advised by the estate agents to get the trees down um, because we'd already started it last year. We were going to do it anyway. It's just that um, we ran out of time last year. Are you ready then? Oh, come on. I need your help now. You need my help? Yes, of course, do you? Oh, I've got to pull the rope, haven't I? You can't leave that on there, the ladder on there, can you? Now. Oh, we're going down to the Shetley, are we? Yeah. Get rid of this last, well, not the last one, get rid of this. Got another two more, I'd say. Hopefully, I'm up to the Lord. I'd like to get a door in. Yeah. I think we might get a door in. Come on.
Voilà. Tu... going in anyway see you later ah. <laughs> today i'm going to bake a cherry bake well tart i've never done one before so this is my first attempt so hopefully um it goes well i'm going to show you the ingredients that i'm going to be using and i'll also put a list of the ingredients in the description as well so for the short crust pastry of the bake well tart you're going to need 225 grams of plain flour and you probably need a bit extra for dusting when you're rolling it out. You need 150 grams of butter, 25 grams of ice and sugar and one large egg. I've put the flour and the um, butter into a mixing bowl and what I've got to do now is just rub it into fine breadcrumbs. Okay so there's the breadcrumbs. I'm now going to stir in the ice and sugar. the egg taking off the lumps of the ice and sugar and the two tablespoons of um, water just to bind it together
I've greased my um, tin, it says nine inch. The recipe says that the pastry needs to be a pound coin thick, so that's what I'll do. I think that will do, or oh, almost. Seems okay. So you put that into the fridge for 30 minutes. So the next thing we have to do is preheat the oven to 390 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius. And then you need to get a sheet of grease proof paper. So after 30 minutes, Take your pastry out of the fridge and then what you need to do is you need to cover the base of the case with grease proof paper and fill with beans. If you haven't got any beans, you can use rice. Just fill it up. And we're going to blind bake this for 15 minutes. So for this one, I'm going to cream the butter and sugar. Then I'll add my egg and some almond flavour. And the sugar's being mixed together until it's quite nice and fluffy. Add in your ground almonds. The egg. Mix them together. And then it says a teaspoon of the almond flavour. Really nice. That's what it looks like. So we're going to set this aside until the pastry is ready. Right, so 15 minutes is up. I'm going to remove the rice. And 
what I'm going to do is place it back in the oven for a further five minutes to dry out this base. So after the five minutes in the oven, this is now cooled down. So I'm going to put four tablespoons of raspberry jam. This is not actually a tablespoon, so I'll need to add a bit more. Once the jam's being added, I need to add the mixture with the ground almonds in. which is the best way to put this in so I'm just going to do it like this be easy just to spread with this spatula oh yeah so once I put the filling on top I've popped it back into the oven for 25 to 35 minutes on a reduced temperature. So where it was originally, where it started off with 390 Fahrenheit, I reduced it down to 355 Fahrenheit, which is about 170. And then I'm just going to leave that in there to go golden brown, and then test it. And then all I need to do then is put the icing on top. So we'll let this cook and then I'll come back to you. Okay, I've just taken it out of the oven. The skewer came out clean and I stabbed it just to show you. I just need to let it cool down now before I make the icing sugar and put the icing on top. So we'll come back to that when it's cooled down. Okay, for the icing, which is the top and that's going to go onto the Bakewell tart, I'm going to put in um, a teaspoon of almond extract, but I'm just putting in about half a teaspoon. This is a um, 10 and a half ounces of icing sugar, which is 300 grams and a couple of tablespoons of water. I'm not going to add all the water at once because sometimes it can be too much. Yeah, it definitely needs more water. So that goes. I can really smell the almond extract. It's very strong. It smells lovely. Yeah, I think that's just the right consistency to pour on top of the baking oil tart. Yeah, definitely. Here it goes. As I said before, I haven't got a palette knife, so I'm just using, well I have, but not, not here. So what I'm going to do is just use this spatula to spread out. The icing is starting to go hard already, as you can see. I don't have any cherries to go on top, so I'll have to skip that one. But there you go. One cherry bake well tart. 
Franz no doubt is going to try it later. It's got a very sweet tooth. And what I'll do is I'll put the recipe in the description for anyone who wants to try this recipe at home. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.